Hey everyone, and welcome to another edition of my live tea tasting. I've got an exciting blend for you today, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and get this party started. Um, today I'm doing a special one. It's an in-store blend, once again, that uh, you guys voted for. There was actually a, uh, a tie over the week, so I had to break it. And of course, you know, hard decision as it was, I decided to do Lemon Elephant. Uh, that's an in-store brand that was made uh, by Paulette. She's uh, she, Well, she used to work at Adagio. Uh, not there anymore, but uh, I, she did make one of the... Well, actually, I believe it's still the uh, highest selling... Um, highest selling blend that has been made in store so congratulations on that um and i am happy to what, what took me so long i was i was watching a, a, a facebook video and i lost track of time but that's okay because you know i i keep it nice and loose you know nothing to uh nothing too strict uh but anyway uh, what was I say? Oh yeah, it is the uh, the, the top selling uh, one at the at the store that has been made by uh, by the employees. Um, so lemon elephant, it was one that I have had before, and I absolutely love it. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, open this up right now. Hey Ma, welcome. Hey Ma, um, we <laughs> I I don't think you meant to do that on purpose. Um, hey Jasmine, welcome! Uh, my mom just happened to call me, <laughs> video call me on Facebook at the worst possible time, but that's okay. Hi mom, you can see me here. <laughs> anyway, Lemon Elephant. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up before, <laughs> before I get uh, another distraction, because, you know, tonight... It seems like that, that's where this is heading. Uh, I've been full of distractions today. So this actually has uh, lemongrass, ginger, uh, cinnamon, cloves, and cardamom. It's really good stuff here. Oh, I love that smell. Like, it's, it's, the lemongrass ginger has a nice full um, lemony citrus kind of scent to it. Um, and the the cardamom in it kind of like makes it more potent gives it a better um, a bit of a kick so yeah absolutely I, I this is one of my favorites I have had it before and I have been planning on doing this for a while now but you know things kept happening like the holidays and um, you know I just I had other teas to do so this one, is, it's a perfect time now that it was officially voted for. I'm going to go ahead and pour some of this out. So I can show you guys because the water sounds like it's almost done. Oops, I think I put in a little more. Hey Ma, welcome! Uh, I use a little bit too much. Let me pour some out real quick. There we go. Okay, so this tea is going to look... A lot different from what I usually uh, what I usually have because it's it's completely herbal um, it's completely large leaf um, well at least the the the, the herb portion um, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what it looks like let me just uh, I don't know could turn up your your volume maybe I don't I don't know if it's because I mean, I, I don't have anything to set to make my to make my microphone get any louder. <sighs> oh, excuse me. But I'm gonna go ahead and uh, show you what this looks like. There's you can see this a lot of long green and yellow leaves. That's all the lemongrass. Uh, there's little pieces of ginger. Uh, you can see. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, there we go. That's the ginger right there. Uh, what's that blue leaf? There was in. Hmm. Got the cloves here and there's cinnamon. I don't know what those blue leaves are. It, normally, the blue leaf is um, is uh, cornflower, but that wasn't listed on the. It wasn't listed on the ingredients, which, eh, I mean, I guess I guess we could safely say it's cornflower. 
Um, cause that's the only thing that's really, that's really used in tea that's blue. Is, uh, blue corn flour. So we'll, 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 we'll stick with corn flour until I hear differently. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have the creator of, uh, of the, uh, of the tea on with us today. Uh, I did let her know and maybe she'll drop by, maybe she won't, we'll see. Um, but yeah. We got this, uh, we got this going. So my water is ready. Since this is an herbal blend, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put it on for 212 degrees. And once again, I'm going uh, unsweetened to get the, uh, the most natural flavor out of it. There we go. And I'm going to time it for five minutes. Now, since this is an herbal blend, it has the capability to stay in there for hours. Um, normally it wouldn't have to, but you know, it's just as a demonstration. It can be put for two, for, for hours, but I'm not going to do that because it's way too long and I, I'm just too excited to uh, have another cup of this. Um, I remember when it first came out, I drank it and it was just like, Ooh, right on. Um, I have had this before. I usually sweeten it with lemon. It doesn't need, uh, sweetening very, mo uh, very much, but when you do, you do it right. Honey is, is just the right, uh, is just the right kind of flavor for it. Uh, would I drink it cold? Absolutely. I, I actually have drank it cold. Um, it tastes kind of like a spicy lemonade like the way the, the when you when you when you sweeten it just right and you drink it you have like this this kind of um, extra citrusy I want to say because the the spices and the, uh, the the taste of the lemon kind of blend together and you get an extra little kick uh, to it so by all means I I enthusiastically say yes drink it iced it's some good stuff um, it's great for the fall oh it, it's it's really really good I mean it's not the top seller at uh, at Adagio for nothing you know I mean it's people love this thing so I'm all about uh, I'm all about promoting what's good um, and this one since it's since it's an herbal blend uh, it's not ca uh, it's not caffeinated so you can you don't have to worry about uh, about being kept up. Uh, it's great for an afternoon. Would I would I add chili powder to it? I don't I don't think it really needs chili powder. Uh, powder. Uh, it's really really good on its own. Um, it's not too it's not too spicy. Uh, but if you want to, you can you can increase it absolutely. Um, chili powder is a good way to go. Um, I would say we, maybe, uh, jalapeno, if you're going to look for a spice, I don't know if they make powdered jalapeno, but the, the jalapeno pepper has more, uh, flavor around it than the chili. The chili is just straight up hot. Um, but I think that the jalapeno pepper might go a little bit better with this just because you have the, the citrus going around it. So, yeah, by all means, go for it. If you want to drink it cold, do it. You want to drink it extra spicy cold? Can't go wrong. Yay, Ma liked it. <laughs> oh, I got another like. I don't know who that was. It looked like it might have been Carmen, but I'm not too sure. You haven't popped up on my uh, on my screen yet. But I'm saying it's Carmen because you kind of look like that picture. <laughs> Uh, sounds good with a piece of fish and seasoned corn. I would say yes. You know, get a nice piece of uh, fried fish, crusted, nice and crispy. A okay. Get some season. Well, seasoned corn. Um, I would actually go. Oh. Quackhead is singing. <laughs> Oops! I again. I knew I was gonna forget something. Naked fish? Well, I mean, if you prefer it. Fish in general is better for you. But, there we go. Time to remove the tea. 
and I'll show you in just a minute what it looks like when it's wet and after I remove the lid you get this see I knew it was you Carmen welcome <laughs> when you remove the lid you get like a nice lemony citrus aroma and like ooh, right on it's right on point you get like um you know that refreshing scent that like lemon pledge has it's kind of like that but spicier and and like de delicious i almost said deliciouser for some reason like deliciouser is not a word <laughs> although if it were i would fully endorse that adjective deliciouser but without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and pour my first cup because this stuff is absolutely amazing. Now, it's a pale yellow. The, um, the way that it looks on the screen, as, as far as I can tell, it looks like it's clear. Um, but granted, it's not. You'll be able to see it in just a moment. Um, I want to show you guys. See, I, I'm, I'm never prepared... For this because it always it always drips after but I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like I'm gonna switch over see it it hasn't grown a whole lot but it has um, it is noticeable like the greens look a lot greener the yellows look a lot greener um, there's some reds and oranges you can see the um, let me pull that out a little bit. There you go. The ginger right there. Oh, that's perfect. The ginger right there has gotten pretty big. So that looks like it's it's got the biggest um the biggest difference. The cardamom is coming out more colorfully. I don't know if you guys noticed the cardamom was kind of hard to uh to see, but now you see that there's uh, a brown, brownish, reddish leaves in there. That's the uh, that's the cardamom. Now, hopefully, it's not going to drip. But you can see it has grown a bit. When it first started, I had it for about here, and now it's it was about maybe a third of the way, and now it's about a little over half. So there has been some growth. And let me tell you, this stuff smells amazing. Like, I... Uh, what tea is this again? It's, uh, it's called Lemon Elephant. And it's, uh, it's, it's only sold in, uh, in store at Adagio. And it's their top selling um, employee created, created one. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> okay, now here comes the first taste. Mmm. Oh, so good. I love this stuff. Oh. It tastes very it, it I mean it tastes like like lemon. Uh but there's an effervescence. Now, the thing about lemongrass is that it's it's not citrusy at all uh well chemically it's not citrusy but when you drink it it has like a strong lemonade kind of uh kind of taste to it but it doesn't have that that effervescence that uh that natural lemon juice does have where you know it, you get that little sour kind of kick to it and then after a second, it kind of cools uh, across the tongue. This one, lemongrass alone doesn't have it, but you get that effect from the ginger. The ginger gives it a more um, a more spicy, a more citrusy kind of taste without the actual citrus. So you have the it, it becomes um, more acidic that way, at least taste wise. I don't. I don't know if ginger itself is acidic or if it's just the spice that has the same acid effect. I don't believe it's acidic, but I've been wrong before, like maybe once or twice. 
So I'm not going to make a definite statement. <laughs> mm. Oh, it's so good. This stuff, I have been a fan of uh, from the very beginning. Um, and there's there's a little bit... There, there's It's it's a bit of a complicated te uh, taste because... Uh, Angel, what's up? Welcome! Uh, it's a bit of a complicated taste because you have like the natural uh, citrusy lemon kind of thing. Um, but underneath it, there's different uh, nuances of the spices. So it's not just the ginger that you get. There's a nice balance of the ginger, the cardamom, and the cinnamon um, that's all blended and rolled into, into one smooth flavor. Uh, and that's the one thing that I appreciate about this. You can, you can, the, the lemon is like more fervent. Um, it comes out, it's, it's there, uh, it's very present, but the spices and the nuances underneath it is what really makes this, uh, this really, really, it, it, it kicks that way. The way that, um, the way that I like to, to describe it is it's kind of like, uh, a flavorful, uh, I struggle to say pepper, because it's, usually when you talk about a pepper, you have that, that, how do mm -hmm. I, how do I pronounce, uh, well, not how do I pronounce this, how do I uh, accurately describe it, um, it's not a pepper per se, because the pepper has like the little pinpoint of a, of a spice, but it's more like a matte kind of feeling across the tongue. Uh, yeah, it does have heat, but I wouldn't really classify it as heat. I would say, uh, more like it has warmth. So it's not just a temperature thing, but it's also like a, uh, a warmish spice, uh, kind of blend to it that it, it doesn't really, it doesn't really burn. It soothes. Kind of like Icy Hot, you know, you got like the heat that soothes the muscle and then it like relaxes. That's the same thing that, uh, that you get taste wise. This has been like a one classy. Oh, I really, whoop. My, there was a little, just a little piece. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Somehow a little piece of lemongrass got stuck on the bottom of my cup. <laughs> that stuff gets everywhere. I swear. <laughs> Some days, if you're not careful, it'll get away from you. Now, normally when I drink this, I drink it um, not just with honey. I, I tend to switch it up a little bit. Um, but I also put stevia in it, and it, it works really well. Uh, when it's iced, I prefer stevia because um, the sweetness comes out even more because it's colder and um like the stevia increases the sweetness itself rather than uh drinking it hot with honey uh when you drink it hot with honey you get a more uh coated feeling and that brings it brings a whole different connotation to the tea oh excuse me see that's that's the sign of a good tea it makes you burp <laughs> right in the middle of it uh but anyway when you when you drink a hot tea, you get a more relaxed, uh, more soothing effect. But when you drink a cold tea, you get that sweetness, you get that energized, uh, you get the um, more invigorating, uh, more invigorating feeling. And this tea does both very well. Um, I would definitely recommend this if you're having trouble sleeping. Um, it, it gives you a nice, uh, warm feeling in the throat, in the chest, and in the stomach. How about brown sugar when it's cold? I don't know. I don't. I don't eat a whole lot of brown sugar. Um, I haven't done a, a, a sampling of it in in tea either. They do have, uh, however, amber um, amber flavor uh, sugar crystals, and that has a good. I, I've never had it with this particular one, uh, but it has. Um, a good sweetness to it, but it's not overly sweet that the white ones do. Um, it's more of an earthy kind of sweetness. Um, it's like the difference between sugar and honey. You know how sugar has that 
uppity, super sweet, super um, like the, the 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 super sweetness of the white sugar. Then you have the muted sweetness of honey, um, the more natural, earthy kind of thing. It's it's two sides of the same coin. You get like the the white sugar crystals um, and the amber sugar crystals, and I think it it, it smooth things over pretty well. Whoops. I just smacked my fingers across that. Mm. Now, when you drink it, and you get those swallows, you get it... I keep feeling it right back here. And, you know, it's it's like... That's how I prefer drinking my teas. It's nice and, uh, nice and spicy. From, uh, from the environment, from a nice cold day. This is the way to do it. This is my, my preference. All right. Anybody got questions while I uh, take another sip? Mm. Okay, this stuff, like... I'm feeling... I'm fe hey, I'm sorry about that. Uh, we lost the Wi-Fi for a minute there. Uh, right now I'm on data... And hopefully it, it, uh, it'll see me through to the end. Um, I, for those of you who have been following me on Facebook, you guys know I've been having some, uh, some troubles with data. I switched from uh, Sprint to T-Mobile. Uh, the T-Mobile data plan is, has been good. The only problem is that it's, it's struggling with compatibility with my phone. Um, so hopefully I don't lose data completely. Um, I just lost Wi-Fi, but thankfully I was able to, to connect. Um, I'll keep an eye out. Hopefully they'll be able to uh, reconnect. And I am hoping that you're there too, because um, I don't know if I'm talking to myself right now. So if you're, if you're there and you're watching, let me know so that I know I'm still on the air. I'm going to keep on talking just in case, because uh, I, have, I, have no, I have no way of, um, of keeping an eye on it. Anyway, I, I sure hope I'm st still recording. Otherwise, this is going to be very interesting. I might have to do this one again. Yeah, no, I'm going <laughs> to... I, I don't think it'll be fair uh, for the second runner-up. Are you having trouble because we're in the middle of a high... Uh, of a storm with high winds? Yeah, that might be the problem. Um, but actually, it shouldn't be because all of the, uh, all of the cables, unless they're torn down physically... Okay, great. I'm, I'm glad you guys are still there. Welcome back. Um, e e all the cables are, are underground, usually, so you shouldn't have a problem unless they're, like, ripped from the telephone poles altogether. But, anyway, that's that's neither here nor there. I'm glad I'm still, uh, I'm still recording, because I'd be so disappointed. Um, but, yeah, I'm, I'm keeping an eye on my computer... Because uh, I don't trust the data right now um, with my phone. And as soon as I see that my computer is back up and running on the Wi-Fi, I'm going to switch back uh, signal-wise. Just, just for security. Because I, uh, I don't trust the compatibility quite yet. Shadow, welcome! You're late! <laughs> You're usually like the first person here. But it's all good. As long as you made it. <laughs> and as long as you made it after uh, I'm back on, uh, I'm back on uh, online. Because I lost Wi-Fi. And I'm waiting for it to come back up. It might take a while. So, and my computer just shut down. Oh, don't do this to me. I don't know. I'm having all these technical problems today. Why did it... Ugh. I need to sign back in. I am having so many problems today. Like, I don't know where to start. But anyway, <laughs> I'm glad you guys still came. I'm glad you're still here. I'm glad you're still watching. I'm glad you're still entertained. Um, even though <laughs> it's probably partly schadenfreude. But that's okay, I bounce back. <laughs> Mm. 
So, Shanna, I'm doing Lemon Elephant. <laughs> I believe you had it before. I don't remember. Um, but yeah, this is like a really good, it's a really good, uh, it's a really good taste. Uh, I really enjoy this one. Um, so you guys have any questions, anything you want to talk about while, uh, while I digest this a little bit? Um, I've been, oh, I'm trying to, hey, Allie, welcome. I'm glad you made it early this time. Well, early, you know, I'm like meaning about halfway through rather than the very end. Um, but yeah, I've been, uh, I've been having some, uh, some, what's, I've been having some difficulties today, uh, with, with technical stuff and, and, you know, it's, it's a little trying, but I think so far, so far I'm good. Um, dessert, what kind of dessert? Yes, yes. Um... What kind of dessert? I would say lemon pound cake. Um, something something that goes with lemon. Vanilla ice cream. Lemon yep, lemon pound cake would go great with this. Vanilla ice cream, uh, or put them both together. I mean, nothing wrong with a little lemon uh, lemon ugh, lemon pound cake with ice cream. I'm I'm struggling with the English language today. I don't know. No hablo español. <laughs> uh, anyway, so I'm about halfway done with my first cup, and already I'm I'm, I'm ready to pour out another one. Mmm, Seven Up cake. Yes, I love that stuff. I haven't had it in a while. I have to go back and uh, and pick some up. Generally, that's something that. Uh, I like to buy and I like to share with people. Um, but, you know, lately it's been like a little bit chilly out. I haven't gone to the to the, to the supermarket to get any. Um, but when I do, rest assured, <laughs> whoever whoever's around, they'll get a piece. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, well, I don't know, should I? Yeah, I'm going to take one more swig. Uh, and then, yeah, Jewel has it. That, that's, where I, uh, that's where I get it. Um, the Jewel is not too close. From me, sometimes I go to Tony's. They sometimes have it, sometimes they don't. It's uh, it's all a matter of uh, of when I'm in there. Yes, I love the orange crush cake too. That one I don't share. <laughs> that one, that one I have a weakness for. Mm. Oh, that's good. Okay, I think I, I think I've made enough room in my cup that I can pour out some uh, pour out some more. Oh yeah, definitely, because I feel it. I'm starting to, yep, I'm running a little low. There we go. Oh, I got some of my finger. That's terrible. I'm such a klutz. Anyway. <laughs> so where were we? Um, orange. Orange. Oh wait, looks like I got Wi-Fi again. So I'm going to go ahead and switch back because I don't trust it yet. All right, come on. There. Oh, oh back on Wi-Fi, folks. Ooh, okay. Yeah, I, I, I for some reason when I lost Wi-Fi, it uh it turned off my uh my flash. And so I dimmed down a little and didn't notice until I turned my Wi-Fi back on. But yeah, I'm back. Fully functioning, everything is good to go. Um, yeah, there we go. Okay, I'm just making sure I still have it because I don't want to. Um, I don't want to basically be falling without a parachute. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, you guys, have any uh, questions, comments, anything you wanna you wanna share with me? Go right ahead, uh, and don't forget to like and share and all that good stuff. Um, I want to get more more people involved. Uh, so the more people know about it, the more people can get involved. See, that's how it works. Um, so uh, I don't know. Uh, oh, so okay, yeah, I'm getting like a bunch of uh, messages. People are commenting on my uh, on my previous post, but got nothing to do with this. So I'll just ignore it. Um, 
I'm going to soon. I don't know how many uh, how many people out there uh, are familiar with IMVU, but uh, I was thinking about. Yay! I rock. Thanks. Of course, you're you're my sister, so you have to. Uh, no, that wasn't my pants. That was the actual phone. Um, that's that's the uh, the notification that I got that somebody was commenting on one of my posts. So yeah, that that's not my pants. Anyway, um, I don't know how many people are familiar with IMVU, uh, but it's a chat program um, that basically uses uh, animated avatars, and you can go into rooms, you can talk to people, and, and stuff like that. Um, I have been a member for about 11 or 12 years, um, and a few of my friends have uh, asked me to extend the community uh, to IMVU, and see if we could get some people to recruit there. Um, you know, just to come in, watch the watch the stream, have fun, participate, get involved, um, join the community, and and you know, like talk to talk talk tea. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to be opening up a, um, a a chat room in there pretty soon. Uh, it's right now. It's in development by uh, one of my friends, Pam, who has attended the. Um, the stream on occasion. She's not here tonight, um, but we're discussing plans um, and looking for a bigger presence. And you know that's what that's what really makes things worthwhile. When more people come in, more people participate, more people have fun with the um, with the stream. That's that's always a great thing, and it, and it keeps me motivated. It keeps me going. And you know, you guys, like I say every week, you guys keep me going, and that's the absolute truth. So I'm gonna drink a. F uh oh, I just put my hand in some spilled tea. I don't know how that happened, but yeah. So, also, you guys out there are free to uh, invite people to the community and have them come in, have them see what it's about, participate. You know, share Fake Fact Friday. Uh, I had a blast with mine today. I went all Black Panther on it. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was pretty awesome. Um, but yeah, that's going to be there every Friday. Um, so yeah, go ahead. Feel free to participate. Oh, I forgot. I just realized I don't. I didn't show you guys what the actual tea looked like. I haven't done that in a while. Um, but yeah, when I said that it looked clear as I was pouring it out. There you go. You'll see. It's not clear at all. You see, it's a nice yellow color. Uh, almost golden uh, tinge to it. It's a beautiful, it's very reflective. Like, I love the way that it looks. It's got, um, there's, there's a shadow uh, that was a little bit, uh, it was blocking it on the, um, on the camera. Yeah, it kind of does look like apple juice. Um, but, uh, like, the shadow made it a little bit darker than it is. But that's okay, because uh, normally, normally the uh, the black air teas are the stronger tasting ones. This one's not super strong um, as far as earthiness is concerned, but the lemon in it is right on point. Mm. Oh yeah, and uh, for those of you who have joined us late. Um, I did this, I, I, I made this tea, again, I'm not sweetening it, um, because of the natural, I want to get the natural flavor for you guys. Um, this is my first time since my actual first tasting uh, of it, that I'm drinking it unsweetened, and, you know, it's like sometimes I wonder why I bother sweetening it, because it really doesn't need it. It's got a nice... Um, the like the the lemony flavor to it is really is is really perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take another swig. I'm about halfway through this cup, so you guys throw some at me. Mm. Oh, it's so good, and it's also having a a soothing effect on my throat. Like a lot of the time when I when I talk for long periods of time, uh, per se these uh, these these streams, 
my throat gets really dry, which is ironic because I'm drinking tea the whole time, and it really shouldn't have that kind of uh, that kind of laugh, lasting effect. But this one's actually soothing my throat pretty well, so I really enjoy it. Um, and it comes out like, what was it? Throw what? Like sharp objects? Yeah, if you got them, throw them at me. Come on, take it. I can take it. Yeah, I'm being. Uh, <laughs> I'm being a total dork tonight. Um, health benefits. Um, generally, lemongrass is... It doesn't have like a whole lot of uh, health benefits that I'm aware of. Uh, but the ginger um, is good for the stomach. I guess maybe the lemongrass might be good for the stomach as well. Um, because, you know, grass in general has a lot of great digestive properties. Um, ginger is really good for the stomach. Um, what else? Uh, you know, I'm not too sure what other, what other health benefits it would have. I mean, I can look it up. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I, I guess looking it up right now might be a little bit uh, inconvenient. Uh, keeping you guys occupied while I sit there and, and, uh, and look up stuff that I should have done beforehand, but uh, for whatever reason, I didn't do it, because I'm terrible at doing homework. Uh, but yeah, I mean, ginger's really good for the stomach. Lemongrass, I would imagine, uh, it would be also. Um, digestion usually goes hand in hand with that. And uh, metabolism. So I'm going to say that... <laughs> With the disclaimer that I'm not 100% sure um, about the other two, but definitely good for the stomach because of the ginger. Which is funny because uh, like, as a kid I used to hate ginger ale because I would associate that with uh, the stomach virus. And it was just, oh, awful. Terrible stuff. But I'm okay. <laughs> now, now that I've grown up and I have more discerning tastes, I'm okay with uh, ginger ale. Mm. And now that it's becoming more um, room temperature, I get this. It's it's a it's a bit. It becomes a bit more muted and a bit more relaxing. Like it's not as um, it's still vibrant, but it's not as uh, like like the, the spices aren't kicking as much, which is fine because you know now that as you tend to. Um, move into the lower end of the of the spectrum it's nice to have it just mute itself so that you can fully relax you know you don't have to worry about um you don't have to worry about the caffeine so why worry about like the taste invigorating you um i would say that i mean if you drink it cold you'd have more of a uh, of an exciting uh, effect but now that it's getting closer to room temperature, um, I'd say that that's pretty good. I'll go with it. Mm. And not to mention that the the more that it cools, the more you get kind of like the the lemon. I want to say lemon pledge. Uh, regulates high blood pressure, metabolism, and good for digestion. Is that lemongrass or is that uh, ginger or is that both? Uh, I didn't know about the regulating high blood pressure, um, but I mean it makes sense. Um, and as I said, digestion and metabolism. So it looks like my instincts were correct. Uh, but the the high blood pressure is that lemongrass or is that the ginger? See, I, I I'd like to know if that uh, what the differences were. So that I know what to recommend later on. That was something that I hadn't, uh, I wasn't aware of. <sighs> oh, excuse me. Time for a little more. It's also good for hiccups. <laughs> I have no idea. I mean, drinking anything is, is good for hiccups, but... You know, I'm just trying to sound like I know what I'm talking about, but I don't. <laughs> I 
Lemongrass. Okay, that's that's good. Then, uh, yeah, lemongrass, I prescribe it. If you have high blood pressure, ma. <laughs> of course, I take full responsibility for your high blood pressure because, well, you grew up, I, 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 you grew up with me and I grew up with you, so I take full responsibility. You're welcome. Mm. Oh, it's so good. So, you guys have any questions, anything else? Come, bring it on. I'm ready. I only got a couple more uh, sips left in the cup, so. Um, okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and uh, finish this up. Because uh, I've pretty much run out, <laughs> run out of things to talk about. Um, so, a couple of announcements. I'm going to post the poll for... Uh, you have me to blame? You absolutely do. Because I am a self-proclaimed pain in the butt. <laughs> uh, but anyway, if you have a few announcements, I'm going to keep on uh, going down the poll. Um... To see what's gonna, what I'm going to do next week. And I'm leaving it completely and totally up to you guys. Um, to see what uh, what comes up next. Shanna, I know what you're voting for already. Uh, but hopefully we'll get some, some more people in. Uh, more people interested and, uh, and participating. And we'll get this thing high energy. As usual. And it looks like I'm almost done. So if you have anything, let me know. Mm. Okay, well, I'm going to wrap it up a little bit early tonight. Um, I have to call it something other than the replacements. Alright, I'll figure out something to call it because that's what they are. But I'll, I'll, I'll think of something. Alright, anyway, I think I'm going to call it a night. Uh, thanks for joining me and I will see you guys next week. Uh, and you guys will let me know what I'm streaming. Alright? Have a good night.